Hi, I'm Reverend Jake Zabe, and welcome to Children's Bible Stories. Alright children, welcome back to another Children's Reformation story. Today we're going to be telling the story of Luther and the Black Dog. So after the Diet of Worms, when Luther had given his famous Here I Stand speech, he had been declared an outlaw, which meant anybody could kill him on sight. So the elector, Prince Frederick the Wise, had kidnapped Luther and rushed him off to the Wartburg Castle. And from May 1521 through to March 1522, Martin Luther was staying in the castle at Wartburg. And Luther recounts some of the events that happened to him while he was at Wartburg. And one thing that continually happened to Luther was issues with demons. Luther accounts several different encounters he had with demons and how he dealt with them. Which, children, is a good lesson for us and how we can deal with the demons as well. There is one particular story Luther tells of a demon that appeared in the form of a black dog. So Luther tells us that one night he was heading off to bed. Ooh, I'm pretty tired. Had a long day. I better, I better go to sleep. And as he was going off to bed, he stopped because there was a black dog standing on his bed. And Luther tried to go to bed, and the dog wouldn't let him. And the dog, he tried to shoo it away, and the dog wouldn't go away. And Luther was terrified. He knew that this wasn't an ordinary dog. And he was scared. He didn't know what to do. And so Luther just started to pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again, ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And Luther said, as he prayed the Apostles' Creed, the dog just vanished. And the next night, Luther was going back to bed again. Ugh, I'm tired. Oh, a very busy day. Let's go to sleep. And there was the dog again in his bed. But this time, Luther wasn't going to have a bar of it. He walked over to the dog, picked him up, went to the window, and threw him out. And Luther said, and the dog didn't bark or whelp or make any noise. And that was confirmation to Luther that the dog must have been a demon. But just to make sure, the next morning, Luther went and talked to the groundskeeper and asked him if there was any dogs hanging around the castle. And the groundskeeper said, uh, no, I've never seen any dogs around here. And that then was confirmation to Luther that this dog must have been a demon and not a real dog. Interesting that Luther asks after he'd already thrown the dog out the window, but you know, that's Luther for you. And so children, this story teaches us how we are to face the demons. We are to do so with no fear because the demons can't harm us. Because as Christians, we belong to God. We are his children. We are saved and the demons cannot harm us. And so like Luther did the second night, he went and he fought off the demon with no fear. However, Luther only did so the second night. The first night, Luther got rid of the demon by praying the Apostles' Creed. 
Luther did not get rid of the demon by his own strength, but only by the strength of God. See, we can have courage to stand up to the demons and say, away with you, you have no power over me. But we must remember that we can do so not by our own strength, but only by the strength of God and his word. If we have God and we have God's word, then we don't need to fear any demon or any creature and we can tell them to be gone because we believe in God. And then, once we have the confidence of God's word on our side, then we can, like Luther, pick them up and just throw them away. And that's the end of our story for today. Children, I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. Goodbye and God bless.